Hello, I'm Kirsten Ullman Phillips and I'm the Botany Collections Manager at the Museum of Northern Arizona. And here we are at Mount Eldon and today we are looking for a fern. So here we are at Mount Eldon and we're here looking for a rare fern. And this is part of a project that the Museum of Northern Arizona is doing with the Arboretum at Flagstaff and the Coconino National Forest to find 10 rare plants that occur on Mount Eldon and San Francisco Peaks. And if you're not familiar with the Flagstaff area, um, San Francisco Peaks is much higher. It gets up to 12,600 feet and there's tundra at the top. And Mount Eldon is like its little sister and it only gets up to 9,300 feet. And there's um, radio towers at the top. And you could actually drive up um, all the way up to the top. But we're gonna be looking for a rare fern called Asplenium adiantum nigrum and that's called black spleenwort. So let's go find it. The reason that we're looking for this is that the Museum of Northern Arizona is starting a project with the Arboretum at Flagstaff and the Coconino National Forest in order to search for 10 rare plants that only occur um, in the San Francisco Peaks and the Mount Eldon area. And the, the Forest Service and other land managers unfortunately are very underfunded and so they don't have enough manpower to get out and actually go and search for these plants on their own. But they need to manage the land and so they need to be able to know if these species are still here. Are you ready? Okay, so here we are in the right habitat for the fern that we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for an area where we have boulders that are catching storm runoff, where there'll be perennial moisture for the fern and a shaded environment. We've got white firs up here that are shading the fern and in the description of the collections that were made previously, they said um, it was in an area with white fur. So we're in the right habitat. So let's go find it. There's a pictograph in here. So the 10 species that we've chosen to look for are um, ones that haven't been documented in decades. So the fern that we're looking for today hasn't been found since um, 18 or 1986, so 34 years ago. And uh, because we haven't found it in that many years, we don't know if it's still there. We don't know how well it's faring and how can we manage the species if we don't know those things. And so the idea is to train citizen scientists in order to find these plants. So we've already trained 23 citizen scientists um, to go out and look for these species and how to identify them and where they could potentially find them. And um, we actually found, we had one of our volunteers find one already. So uh, she found this species and we're gonna go see if we can find it as well. I see a fern, let's go see if it's it. This is the right habitat. Whoa. It's right in the rock crevice, which is where these are found. Yeah. I need to actually take my glasses off to see. Yep, that's it. So what we're looking for, this is a splenium adiantum nigrum or black spleenwort. And for ferns, we are looking at the spores. And so on this one, the spores are on the backside, that's the reproductive part of the fern. And um, in this species, they're kind of in a herringbone pattern along the backside. And these ones look like they're just starting to get started. And it's the right shape. Um, it has a black stem. That stem portion is longer than the frond portion. And what's interesting about this fern, this is not the same one right here. Um, so it's just this one. What's interesting about this fern is that this is the only place it's been found in Arizona. So it's considered critically imperiled in Arizona, um, which is one step below presumed to be extinct. Um, and the reason that we're looking for it today is to see, because it hasn't been found in, uh, since 1986. So it hasn't been found in 34 years. And um, the land managers who are in charge of the land, like the Coconino National Forest is in charge of the 
Mount Eldon here. If we're not sure <clears throat> if the species actually exists anymore, how can we manage the land to take into, into consideration this uh, rare species? So this species is only found in um, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah, and is um, considered critically imperiled in those three states. But it's also pretty common in Europe and actually in Africa too. So it's got a very interesting distribution. But because it's so rare here in Arizona, we want to protect these populations. We want to know how they're faring. Are they still doing well? Um, are they still here? And then preserve them. So we make sure that they can stay here. So yay, we found it. And I'm going to take some photos and take some field notes. So you can see how it's just sitting right here in the um, crack of the rock. And so what's happening is when it rains, water is coming down the rock face here and it's collecting and pooling right in this little um, divot here in the rock. And so it creates a little nice microhabitat for this fern. It's sheltered, you know, it's sheltered from the sun, it's sheltered from um, the wind, and it's got a nice little protected place there. So, so I'm gonna take some field notes. I've got my field notebook in here. And then for the project, we created a survey form to fill out. Um, so I'm gonna write that information in my field notebook. And field notebooks are wonderful. You should always carry one with you and record your observations and record your collections. Because if you wait to do it until you get home, you're gonna forget things. how many fronds there are. I mean, there's only one, I think there's only one plant here. I've got seven living fronds, some dead ones. A whole bunch of dead ones, and I hope that doesn't mean not faring well. So I'm going to write down some comments about that it's in this rock face, rock crevice. So I'm going to say, so that's pretty good. And that's all we need for the form. <laughs>